Armstrong. This is uh, a buzzer song for a wonderful world and he smiled Armstrong. Some of us may remember him. Okay. Now, uh, you gave me your card and everything. Yeah. You gave me your card and everything, but of course I can't find you, so I'm going to let you introduce yourself. Hello, um, Alicia. Hi. <laughs> Glad you remember my name. That's quite all right. My name is Stephen Ramsden. I'm the director of the Charlie Bates Solar Astronomy Project. Of the Charlie Bates Solar Astronomy Project. Yes, okay. Uh, what is that? The Charlie Bates Solar Astronomy Project mm -hmm. takes observatory quality mm -hmm. telescopes to 70 or 80 remote locations, usually middle schools and high schools every year around the southeast, mostly in the Atlanta metro, North Georgia area. And we teach kids about science. We try to get people interested in science. We try to get kids something to do, some way to start the direction of their life. Oh, and, uh, wow. To a way to live. So we teach kids about the sun, about solar radiation, uh, how it affects the Earth's climate. Uh, we also do festivals like Dragon Con, on the 40th anniversary WRFG birthday bash. Mm. I was here last year for the 39th anniversary. Mm -hmm. Glad to be back. Right. And we teach the community about science as a way to enlighten themselves and lift themselves up for something better. Oh, I think that's great. And you know, it all ties into, you know, in my opinion, it's like, you know, catching the kids, like Misty was saying, you know, catch the kids when they're early and try to, you know, if we direct the direct them into another uh, another something to do that you know they would not may not have uh, thought of on their own first of all and even even if they did they may not have had the resources you know and, and, and in my experience here with WRFG that is what absolutely I get excited about is connecting the young people in my life to this kind of resources that you know other kinds of resources you know things to do and plug them in keep them in a different direction because everyone doesn't have to go down that road it's just opening up your heart you now well let me share this with you before you know uh, Juanique told me yesterday that you were going to be coming on he asked if I could do it and I said oh that's great that's perfect I just looked at this astrology book and he's another no, it's, it's not astrology everyone so, says it. do they okay well what I did this morning to prepare I just was simply went in the dictionary looked up the di looked up the word of astronomy and then I looked up astrology so I'm going to read that because others may not know either Yes, I knew it had something to do with like the universe and the stars and all that. But the dictionary says that, the, that astronomy means the study of the positions and aspects of heavenly bodies with a view to predict their influence. Oh wait, no, that's astrology. Sorry, I'm start. I, okay, sorry. Here comes astronomy, according to the dictionary. You're not alone in this, by the way. I'm sure Almost I'm not. No one knows anything about astronomy. I'm sure I'm not. And that's why, you know, while I'm here, because I'm very, you know, but hey, let's look that up and see what it means so we're all be on the same page. Right. So astronomy means the scientific study of the universe beyond the Earth, especially the observation, calculation, and theoretical interpretation of the positions, dimensions, distribution, motion, composition and evolution of celestial bodies and phenomena. Absolutely. And you know, it's usually stereotyped as nighttime astronomy. People don't really think about it at, at the sun. And, you know, the sun is the nearest object in our universe to study in an astronomical eye. The sun is right there. It's only 93 million miles away. It's uh, like nowhere compared to the distance of the next star. Um, nighttime astronomy has very, been very popular for centuries. Solar astronomy is fairly new for the consumer. It's only been around at an affordable level for maybe 10 years, maybe 15 years. So one thing about solar astronomy, really the Charlie Bates Solar Astronomy Project was started with an interest towards the community and towards students at middle school levels but more than anything. It just happened that I also had a great deal of knowledge about the sun and about astronomy. So I put two and two together. My wife and I wanted to help with the Georgia 35% high school dropout rate that's going on right now. Uh, we didn't want to sit around and complain about it and write nasty Facebook posts about it. We wanted to go out and do something about it. Right. So I took the talent that I already had. My wife's a lawyer. She, she was able to take care of the nonprofit stuff. And we got together and we see 70, 80,000 students a year in Atlanta and give them something to do, something to think about beyond the CRTCT stuff, beyond the memorization. We give them something to think about. You can't look at the sun through a telescope without going, wow, it speaks for itself. So it happens to be to put these two thirst together for the community and for science and put it together in this program that's working with the Wilson. And again, you go into schools primarily or you're probably connected 
everywhere that you'd like to go in and just say this is and offer this to them. Um, I generally book about six months in advance now. Uh, most of my events are in middle schools and high schools. Uh, any nonprofit is fine with me. I don't do for profit events much, or if at all. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to stay away from money altogether. My wife handles all of it, and I can't stand to think about it. Mm -hmm. uh, again, the main thing about this program is, you know, I was here this past Saturday morning when we had a shooting at five, and I, I saw that guy come up on the sidewalk there. And it was just one more way to uh, reinforce in my own mind. You know, what a waste of a life. No, I don't care what he was doing that time. What a horrible way to end your life. I didn't even hear anything about that. Yeah, it was at the Wish store. It was a, it's, it's a long story. Right, right. My guy right. lost his life on the sidewalk. Right. Um, Charlie Bates, who the program is named after, also lost his life in just a horribly useless way. And when your life is over, your life is over. People take death like it's nothing these days. But when someone's killed on the street for any reason, think back about what could have been done with him at him or her, you know, in middle school or elementary school. What conditions led up to this? It wasn't they just decided they wanted to go out one day and get killed. Right. It's been a lifetime of, of wrong choices, different turns, etc. I'm trying to give students something right now in their hands they can do, they can accomplish, they can take their own images through my telescopes at the events and go, wow, I'm, I'm as good as these other scientists. Look at me. Exactly. And that's what we do. I love this. I love this. Because again, you know, uh, I remember my school years, you know. I mean, I started school from get-go thinking I didn't have the brains to learn anything, so I might as well not even try. My, my last name starts with a that. W, so I, you know, I was always in the back of the class anyway, which was fine with me. That's, that's still pretty popular in middle schools and high schools, and especially with, with the girl clicks that develop, or even the guy clicks, he did the other. They think and the bottom line is, students will live up to your expectations. Yes. If you go yes. into school and you expect them to get in trouble and to be hard to deal with, that's what's going to happen. Exactly like you may have heard, because you were in the room, just like the movie, The Freedom Writers. Yes. You know? Same thing. It's like if these kids have already been written off. I spoke to them. They're always. By yeah. A lot yeah. Of media. You know, the media wants to portray everything is bad in the yeah. world. Everything you see on TV is horrible. Yeah. Folks, the world is full of a million times more good things every day. I, I love that. You know what? I'll catch this photo. You can go ahead and keep educating. How about that? I'll be glad to. Yay. <laughs> anyway, Charlie Bates Solar Astronomy Project deals with how the sun works, the hydrogen helium fusion inside the core of the sun, and how this radiation affects our planet. And it gives us uh, life. And so that when we get these students at the telescopes, they can see solar flares, sunspots, magnetic activity up close on the sun. They can take their own images or photos of these things and I put them on my website and the student can show, hey, look, Mom, Dad, this is what I did at school today. I really accomplished something besides memorizing my multiplication tables. I used my brain to do this and this is what I want to do. I think it's get interested in science and that's always a good thing. I was going to say, and the kids got excited, right? Absolutely. The sun speaks for itself. And if you come out to the Saturday birthday bash, okay. you can take a look at my scopes oh, and wow. you can okay. use the cameras and you can image the sun. Last year it was extremely popular. People have never seen anything like this. It's not just a, a picture that looks like this is reality. You can see the flares jumping off the sun, you can see the sunspots. Um, it really speaks for itself, so I don't have to do much to promote it. Yeah. But we, we try to see as many students as possible every year. Oh, what a great service you're, you're doing and what you're going to do for the birthday flat bash, folks. That will give you even more incentive to come. Not that you need more, but, oh, you I'm know. Not doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listeners, numbers uh, 404-523-8989. We just had a call, but no one was there, so I don't know what happened there. Maybe you can call back. Um, and the website's uh, wrfg.org uh, to make your secure donation to the station. And we have a little incentive from your uh, from from you. What, what's uh, yeah. uh, We have some T-shirts and some solar glasses to give away to the next caller who wants to support WRFG. Who makes a credit card pledge? Uh, you know, thirty-five dollars. Sounds good. That's that's the minimum as far as the on the list goes. You know, you can always pledge whatever amount you want. But if you want this wonderful T-shirt that's Charlie Bates Solar Astronomy Project, you know, then uh, then call the number four zero four five two three eight nine eight nine. Give us your credit card. It'll be easy, and uh, that way you you will have made your pledge. You will have supported the station. Uh, and uh, you know, and then you will have a fabulous uh, T-shirt and some solar sunglasses. All right. You know, I've been listening to Dark WRFG ever since I can remember, and I love the uh, Beats and Rhymes show. I love mm -hmm. Larry Eagle's uh, Blues Therapy. I'm just very, very happy to be a part of the station, and I have always been a big supporter. I grew up in Ben Hill, 
which okay. is southwest of here. Yeah. I went to Brandeker High School, one of the worst schools in the state. Oh. Um, so I'm familiar with Atlanta. I feel like I'm home here. I know that I know the people here. And, and science is a great way to get yourself out of the doldrums of this life and learn something new. You can really elevate yourself, and hey, you can even make money doing science. Science wow. is a great way to lift yourself out. Because we do find ourselves, I'll put it as we, because, you know, I'm sure I'm not the only one. It's like, we get in our routines, our ruts, and we just think, oh, God, is this all there is to it, you know? And, you know, once you step out just a little bit, like, instead of taking right every day, take a left and see what happens. Well, we stay close to family in the South, you know? We, a lot of people say, well, I'm going to do what my parents do, because this is where I live, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do that. You can move out and do other things. Absolutely. Okay, listeners, we're going to take a... Take our, our last uh, PSA break, and uh, we will be back. The phone number is 404-523-8989. All right. You got enough of uh, We got 15 more minutes. You got enough information? Oh, good. 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 Good.